Hello and welcome. Today uh, we're going to install a Delphi application uh, in a Docker container. Um, I'll explain how you can use Docker uh, and how to create a Delphi application you can run in a Docker container both in Windows and Linux. Um, I'm Marco Geuze, Embarcadero Delphi MVP. Uh, you can reach out to me via uh, marco at gdksoftware.com. Uh, you can find me on LinkedIn as well, and if you're not subscribed yet to our mailing list, uh, please do. Uh, you get a lot of valuable content, Delphi-related content, uh, so you can find this link um, uh, link here below, and I'll add, uh, add it in the description as well. Right, so what are we going to do today? Uh, as I said, our goal is to run a Windows and a Linux app on Docker. Um, to do that, I'll, I'll first give a brief introduction of Docker, um, what it is and how you can use it, and then we'll create a sample application in Delphi and deploy this to, um, to the Docker environment. Uh, in another video, I'll show you how you can deploy this Docker environment to Azure or to uh, Amazon Web Services. So, just a little bit of theory, what is Docker? In, in very simple terms, uh, Docker is a software platform that simplifies the process of building and uh, managing and distributing applications. Um, so it does this by virtualizing the operating system. So if you work with Docker, you'll encounter um, two different terms and you'll know, you have to know what it is exactly. And these are Docker images and Docker containers. Um, Again, in simple terms, Docker images are um, sort of templates. These templates contain the application, all the dependencies. Uh, so basically everything what you'll need to run your application. Um, and to run the application itself, you'll need a Docker container. So these two things are uh, different. So in sort of in Delphi terms, you would say a Docker, um, a Docker image would be a class, a Docker container, uh, would be the instance of the class, so the actual running instance. Um, so with Docker you can deploy uh, your application uh, very easily in the cloud if you want. You can um, uh, run it in Windows or in Linux uh, containers and environments. Um, so let's go over to uh, the next slide, which is installing Docker. So let me uh, find the website, which is here. So if you want to, to start with Docker, you can uh, go to docker.com uh, forward slash get started, where you can download uh, the Docker environment, which you can do for uh, Windows, the Mac, or uh, for Linux. Um, I've already installed uh, Docker in, on, on my machine. Basically, it's just a very easy in installation. Uh, so you can just uh, download and install it. And once you've done that, um, you'll have to make sure that um, you are on, in this, this case, on the Windows subsystem. Because what we want to do first is we want to, um, to build an application, a Delphi application, and deploy it in the Windows, uh, sorry, in the Linux environment. So if you have installed uh, Docker, you will get here um, the Docker desktop as well, where you can find all your images uh, and your containers. So if you start, it's uh, of course this is empty, um, but we'll we'll create uh, images and containers uh, very soon. Just make sure and uh, to run on Linux, and you can do that by right-clicking on the icon um, of Docker, and make sure that um, here it says switch to Windows container, which, which means that we are actually uh, right now on Linux containers. Uh, you can always use uh, Windows containers as well. Sometimes it's easier with Delphi, but um, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'll leave it to, uh, to Linux. Um, to create a uh, Linux app, which we, we can deploy uh, via Docker. So, we'll um, first head over to uh, and download um, the repository from, from Embarcadero, which contains the um, PA server specifically designed for Docker. You can find it on this link, uh, GitHub, on GitHub, 
I'll sh share the link in the description as well. Uh, so make sure you'll download this repository and pick the right um, version. So it is available from Delphi 10.3. Um, I'm on 10.4, so uh, make sure you have the right release. So once you've downloaded these, uh, these files, you can inspect them. And uh, the first one you'll have to look into is the Docker file. The Docker file describes um, what your Docker image would look like. So in this case, um, we do have an Ubuntu Linux image. So basically we'll download this image. Um, we do have a couple of arguments and a couple of environments. I won't go into detail uh, here for this. If you want to know more about Docker and, and using a Docker file, uh, there's quite a lot of documentation on the website. Um, one thing I have changed uh, is if you download this Docker file uh, from the GitHub repository from Embarcadero, um, it downloads the uh, PA server from their website. Uh, I've changed this a little bit. Um, what I've done is I've searched for exactly the same uh, PA server, which is located if you're on a Windows machine and you've installed in the, in the default directory, uh, in the Embarcadero directory from the from program files. Um, and I've copied this Linux uh, PA server to the uh, directory where I have my Docker file downloaded from, um, uh, from the GitHub repository. Uh, and I've changed this line uh, here, it downloaded it from, um, from their website, from Embarcadero's website. I've changed this to just copy the file to um, my system. Uh, that's the only thing I did change, the rest of it is uh, completely the same. And basically this describes exactly um, how we can build a Docker image. So once you've done this and once you've run it, and I'll do that in a minute, um, you will end up with a Docker image. And as you know, uh, the image is sort of the template for our application. Um, what we're doing here is creating a, a Docker image, which you can use uh, to deploy your application and debug your application. That's why uh, these ports are exposed, because you need these to communicate and to be able to debug your application. If you want to deploy an already built Linux application, you won't use this because this is specifically for debugging uh, applications from within this Docker uh, container. Um, so if you want to do that, maybe we'll cover this, this in, a, in a, another, um, another video. Uh, but for now, this is so to, just to make sure this is for debugging your Linux application in a Docker container. Right. So let's uh, head over to a command, command prompt and let's build uh, this container. Uh, if you've installed Docker, you have the uh, Docker command line um, tool where you can do all kinds of things with Docker images. Um, in this case, I've set up the steps here. I'll um, share this in the description as well. Uh, we want to build the Docker container and we can do that by um, starting the build process with a specific name and we can name this of course what we want so let's name this docker demo um, from this current directory so i'll execute this and what now happens is that uh, the docker environment will uh, download the ubuntu uh, environment will use all these uh, these statements to create a docker image which we can use to launch uh, the actual container, uh, which we can use to debug our Linux applications. So we'll have to wait for a, for a second um, until the system has downloaded everything and built the Docker image. Okay, as you can see, uh, our Docker image uh, has been built. Um, uh, if you go to the Docker desktop, you'll see uh, in the image list also this docker demo image uh, with a tag. Um, of course we still don't have any running containers um, because as you um, remember the images are just the templates and the docker containers are the actual running 
uh, applications. So what we are now going to do is uh, go back to here and run a specific container. Um, and we can do that by um, running again the, the Docker command line tool. Um, we want to run an application. Uh, we want, well, this is not really necessary, but if you want this uh, uh, parameter restart and unless stops, uh, once you restart your application, or sorry, your, um, your PC, the um, specific Docker container will restart. Uh, we'll have to specify these ports again. Um, I also added the port, the port 80 uh, because that's the port where we can expose um, in, in my demo. I can expose the, um, the web server we've created. And we have to specify here which Im image we're going to use um, for, the, um, uh, for, for the as template for running this container. So again, we'll have to type in here Docker demo and the latest version. Um, these are tags. I won't go into detail uh, again. If you want to know more about tags and Docker, um, have a look on, on their website. Uh, you can find quite a lot of info on that. So um, <clears throat> we now have started the container. Uh, you'll get a container ID back, um, which is a unique ID for every container. And if you go over here to the containers, you'll see one running container. Right. So now we do have an actual Linux container. Um, and let me show you if I uh, open a command line, uh, you can see we'll have a Linux environment here, um, which the, with the, the PA server uh, installed. Uh, so this is one container we can use from within Delphi. So let's uh, go over to Delphi. Uh, I do have a very simple console app uh, available. Um, the application basically does just one thing. It's an HTTP server. Um, it starts the server and it will run um, continuously without stopping. Um, what we do have in the server itself is just creating an in the HTTP server for port 80 uh, and return a very simple um, echo service basically. The only thing we'll do is um, print out hello world in a HTML result and that's it. So um, let's first see if this application will work. Um, what I've done is I've uh, set up a target platform Windows 64 bit. Uh, so this is just the default environment for, for me right now. Uh, so this is my Windows machine. It's running, of course, without um, Docker. So it's just a Windows application, but I want to make sure it, it will run. So if I go over to here and I'll just um, refresh localhost, you'll see that I'll get a, a result back, just the, the hello world as we would expect. Um, so now we want to deploy this to our just created uh, to, the, to the Docker container we just created. Um, so you'll have to add a new platform. I've done that already. So if you've not done it yet, uh, click on add platform and you can define a Linux 64 bit platform. Um, once you do that, you have to define the, uh, a specific profile for debugging. Um, so you have to provide your host, which is a local host, of course. Uh, and the port number, which you've uh, seen once we've, uh, when, when we started the, um, the Docker container. So that's this, uh, this specific port. Um, so once you've done that, you can compile and run your application for Linux 64 bit. Um, so let's run it again. Um, oh, well, let's make a debug build. Um, so you won't see anything right now because the, um, the application runs in this Docker container. Um, but to show you it still works, I can refresh this page and it will work. And if we do, uh, if we set the breakpoints here uh, with these, this HTML results, um, do again a refresh, you'll see that we uh, we'll hit this breakpoint, so we'll debugging in a 64-bit Linux environment within this Docker image. Um, so 
that's it for now. In the next video, um, I will cover the, the creation of a um, Docker image with a Delphi application and how to deploy this to uh, Amazon and Azure. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.